Now, our next guest coming up, they talk about our favorite thing, uh, money, where money's very important. Uh, before I met these guys, I was only writing off 62% of stuff. Now, since I've met them, I'm writing off 82% of stuff. No idea what that means, but they're going to tell us. So Bill and Jared, um, awesome dental-focused CPAs, have been on our show many times, but let's just say it's the first person watching. Just take a minute and tell us what you guys do on a day-to-day -day basis to work with dentists, increase their success, and decrease stress. Yeah, so you know, for those who do not know us, my name is Bill Ladd. This is Jared. Um, we are dental focused CPAs that kind of look at, at, you know, every practice owner as being on a entrepreneurial journey and every journey has a starting point and an ending point. You know, we personally have articulated out what we would call six phases of that journey. And, you know, kind of starting from when you have that entrepreneurial bent all the way till when you kind of hit your end game and you're ready to move on to your next. So we build out products, service offerings and content to try and help uh, dentists, no matter what phase they're in, graduate to that next phase and ultimately move on to the next in their life and hopefully enjoy uh, life post dentistry. I love that, Bill. And Jerry, I'm going to go to you because I want, you know, we've gotten so much great content. So I have actually a real question. So I joke about nachos, you know, but I don't eat them as much as people think. I was a kid because I know you eat nachos all the time. That's going to be pretty terrible for your health, right? It's just not a good thing. So with money, where do you see, because you're working with dentists, where is this missing piece? Do they never learn about it? Do they think they know more than they do? Are they just totally unaware or combo of that? Because, you know, people want to buy a practice. They're into that part, but they don't really know how the money works within that practice. Share with the audience a little bit about that. Yeah, I think it's more of just, you know, dentists coming out of college, I mean, or dental school just don't really haven't learned the business of dentistry and, and how it works. And you've really got to jump in and understand. That's what I talk to our clients all the time. You need to know what levers in your business you can pull to increase profitability, you know, right. and where stuff's off and where, where diagnose your practice to see what's wrong. And really just jump in and find out how you can make that practice better. And it's all about knowing your numbers. A lot of dentists we talk to, they say, hey, I don't really know my numbers. You know, somebody else takes care of that. Well, that's fine. Somebody else can take care of that. But you need to be looking at that every single month to figure out how your practice is doing. And I think of it like when I uh, annoy myself and use like one of those calorie tracking apps. I'm like, oh, geez, I don't know if I want to put this in. I'm just lying to my own app. I'm lying to myself. But you guys do this for practices. Because dentists can feel busy and feel like they're successful. They may say at the end of the year, Bill, my bottom line, my profit, is where do you find some missed nachos there? And how do you guys help them capture more of that bottom line? So, you know, with us, it's pretty easy. You know, just a quick analysis. We can usually tell if people are on track or off track. And, you know, when we bring it to their attention, it's funny. Doc Nacho, most people know exactly what's going on and almost entirely it's sitting in something to do with your staffing. You know, it, it's, it, there's some disconnect between the staffing you got, the production that they're, they're doing. I mean, it just doesn't fall into line. And, and again, when these things are brought up in a system of monthly accountability, which is how we operate, uh, at some point, you know, you can't stick your head in the sand anymore. You have to address problems and, and, and try to fix things that are broken. So that, that's that tends to be where we see it. A lot of it is just people not setting the right parameters, not setting the right key result areas for their, their people and not holding them accountable to the results. And, and usually when those things kind of start falling in line, it's amazing. Profitability falls in line and the doctor's mentality and excitement and energy kind of starts to fall back in line as well. I think that's so key. And it's also just run yourself through this program of, you know, what could be a variety of things, but dental focus accounting. How are my numbers? Nothing bad can happen. What if you said, like, I went to the gym, like you're in the best shape of any 43 yeah. year old I've ever seen. That might be a lie, but they either say you're doing awesome, tweak this, or we have a lot of things to work on. But imagine if they could, you could show you a personal life of not working an extra minute, but adding even just $50,000 at bottom line. Do you have clients like that, Jared, who you guys have walked through that? Yeah, exactly. And you're exactly right. I mean, we, we might, you know, talk to a dentist listening today and we look at your profit and loss statement and, you know, how everything's looking. It's like, hey, you're, you're in the great shape, best shape of your life. Your, your practice is dialed in. So there's maybe not much we can help you on. But a lot of practices we dive into, and Bill said it, is a lot of it is that team member compensation. Right. You know, it's extremely high. And then once you start talking to them, typically the answer is, yeah, yeah, we know, but they've been here forever. It, it just, we're, we're not going to touch that. And that's fine if that's your decision not to make a decision, but it's, it's not going to increase your bottom line unless you start making those tough 
decisions in your. And I want to talk with you guys more about this funeral because you just said something I thought of. Dentists have a real challenge managing conflict, and that's all about conflict. Saying so, we have things in our practice we don't do it perfectly, but people top out at a certain rate, and they have to get bonuses on top of that. They don't get just raises because you, you just can't run a practice like that. I've said to dental assistants, who are awesome people, you may want to become a hygienist now because you may want to make more money by doing becoming a hygienist. Hygienists to become dentists, but I'm sharing the awareness of there can't just be an unlimited amount of growth in a position. So I think that's, you know, we should talk about that, how to manage conflict at a future one. But you guys have shared so much value. How can the group reach out to you guys directly to do a JFO? Just find out call whether they're a practice owner or thinking about it. So how you guys can help them. So real quick, can I answer your, sure. can, I, can I give a comment to your yeah, point yeah, there sure. about accountability? This was actually on a post. I, it may have been in Dale Nachos. I can't remember, but we're big believers in set key result areas for your people, you know, have them accountable to some numbers and some goals and their core values. And if they are not falling short of those, that's not a hard accountability item. It's a very simple objective discussion. You're, you're falling short here and here's how we see it. We don't think it has to be as tough as people make it, but you have to be very clear on your expectations and what you are as a practice. So that's, that's just an aside. That's, that's like kind of where me on my soapbox, I appreciate um, you know, we, you can find us on www.ducketlad.com. You know, that's a, uh, the easiest place to find us. We do have a podcast, uh, the, the Ducket Lad Dental Momentum Podcast. Oh, Dr. Nacho, you've been on there. Yeah, I'd love to have you on there. Uh, so follow us on that. We're trying to put out good content. Would love to, uh, uh, you know, keep building our audience so we can keep trying to have more impact out there in the community. You guys yeah, are all real, real quick. I'll jump in there, Doc Nacho. If you know, ABC, always be connecting. You say that all yeah. the time. And so, yeah. Like Bill said, we work with dentists all along the journey from day one of D1. We stole that from you, Doc Nacho, all the way to retiring and selling your practice. So anywhere there, if you're not working with a dental focused CPA, reach out, just make a, always be connecting, make a connection. Get to, know, get to know people who can help you before you need the acute help for a variety sure. of reasons. So, you know, yeah. we also can text CPA, we have code CPA to 55444. You've already worked with dental notchers, helping them on their journey. We're, we love having you in the group. You guys got a great humorous attitude and helping dentists as well. So really appreciate it. We'll talk about managing conflict on our next show. Sounds good. Thanks guys. Thanks guys. Continue.